Hi, I'm Layo Olarinde. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for June 3, 2022. The All Progressives Congress Presidential Screening Committee has disqualified 10 aspirants from its primaries scheduled for next week. Chairman of the committee, John Oyegun, revealed this on Friday. According to Mr Oyegun, only 13 out of the 23 aspirants screened were cleared by the committee. He adds that only youthful aspirants made the list of cleared candidates. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission has launched the regulations and guidelines for the conduct of general elections in the country. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu announced this during a meeting of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security at the Commission's headquarters in Abuja. And staying with politics, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, Paula Tinumbu, has claimed that President Muhammad Buhari would have lost the 2015 presidential elections if not for his efforts. Mr Tinumbu says 2023 is the turn for him to become president. <laughs> and on the international scene, at least three people were killed and about 60 others injured when a train derailed in Germany's southeastern state of Bavaria. And in sports, the Super Eagles concluded their tour of the United States of America with a loss to Ecuador at the 25,000 capacity Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. The match played early Friday saw Nigeria lose 1-0 to Ecuador in new coach Jose Santos Becerra's second outing with the squad. And that's the evening news recap. Visit channelstv.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Layo Olarinde. Thank you for watching.